Hello everyone, today we will be going over our Deep Learning Foundations course and today we're working with the concept of neural networks. Now, to dive right in exactly what neural networks are, neural networks form the backbone of deep learning. They are a subset of machine learning where algorithms inspired by the human brain learn from large amounts of data. At their core, neural networks are a series of algorithms that strive to recognize underlying relationships in a set of data. So they recognize a set series of relationships in data. Through a process that mimics the way the human brain operates. Uh, this is why neural networks have found immense application in fields ranging from speech recognition and image processing to drug discovery and autonomous vehicles. So speech, image, drug discovery, and autonomous vehicles. Uh, a basic neural network consists of three primary layers. So there are three layers to a neural network. They consist of the input layer. One or more hidden layers. through which the process, um, the data goes through a series of weighted conditions. The data is processed through weighted conditions. To form connections. And finally, the output layer. Which produces the final decision. It's going to use a different color. So it produces the final decision. It could be an a percentage of accuracy or maybe a final output that one is looking for in a neural network but that is just the three components that comprise of the neural network and each layer is made up of units called neurons each layer is made up of neurons which go through activation functions to help the network learn complex patterns. Help the network learn complex patterns. Via activation functions. Uh, the learning process of a neural network involves adjusting the weights and biases of neurons based on the error of the output compared to the expected result. So, so the learning process in determining how a neural network learns involves adjusting the weights
and biases of neurons based on the error output compared to the expected result. Higher out, so lower error, higher output result. So this adjustment is done through a process called backpropagation. Uh, which uses algorithms such as gradient descent to minimize the error by making small iterative adjustments. Gradient descent to make small iterative adjustments for the network to learn. And overall, the network's ability to adjust and learn from the data makes it incredibly powerful for predictive modeling and understanding complex relationships with data. So it's great for understanding complex relationships with data. With data. So overall, neural networks in general, let me just clean this up for you folks. So overall, neural, uh, neural networks in general require a significant amount of data, though, to learn efficiently and effectively and can make computational um, intensive decisions. But their flexibility and efficiency is learning complex patterns, uh, which have been made crucial to be able to advance the tool and use case of artificial intelligence. So going over what we have already done. So we already know that a neural network is really just a series of algorithms which recognize a set of series of relationships and data and the applications range from speech, image, drug discovery, and autonomous vehicles, just to name a few. And a neural network is comprised of three different layers. We have the input layer where the data goes in. We have one more hidden layers, which is where the data is being processed and uh, through a series of weighted conditions to form connections of the data. We have our output layer, which produces the final uh, decision. And each layer is made up of neurons, which help uh, the network learn uh, complex patterns via activation functions. And the learning process as the data is going through the neural network is that it involves yeah, let me just clean that up. Uh, adjusting the weights and biases of neurons based on the error uh, output compared to the expected result. And this whole learning process is called backpropagation. So backpropagation is the learning process through which every single step within the, th within the layers of the neural network is actually being uh, computed to be able to recognize those patterns within the data. And a good use case of backpropagation is using gradient descent to be able to make small iterative adjustments uh, for the network to learn and form stronger connections. Form stronger connections of the data. And overall, neural networks are great for understanding complex relationships with data. And we can think of many, many different iterative uh, examples and processes that could be applied within neural networks. And now let's head over to our concept example. Let me just clean this part up really quick. There we go. That's probably better. Yeah. Make it red. Yeah, there we go. And uh, feel free to take a screenshot. Uh, Prior to us moving over to our concept example.